Hey guys, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we do a concrete floor coating in a garage. Now this is a garage floor right here, and we're going to take it from looking like this, and we're going to change, add an epoxy coating to it, and make it look like this. So stay tuned for the whole video so you can see how we do this. Now we do a lot of concrete floor coatings, and when we prep a concrete floor, this is usually how we do it with a grinder and a diamond blade hooked up to a vacuum. So this one already had an epoxy coating on it and we're going to grind it off. And this is what you'd want to do if you've got some paint on your floor or an old epoxy coating. Get that stuff off using a, using a grinder is usually the best way and the easiest way. Or you could use this right here, a diameter brush. And you can usually rent these at a Home Depot. And it does prep the floor pretty good. You could use these to prep the floor for an epoxy coating whether you have a coating on it or not already it does help clean the concrete it does help you know prep the concrete for the coating to make sure the coating bonds well and it goes right on a on a floor buffer so it's pretty easy to run and you can see how good it cleans the concrete right there it's got those little diamond grit pads on it that goes under it and some of them come with a vacuum hookup some of them don't and you can see how it goes on the bottom of the, the buffer right there. Hook the vacuum up to it. It helps keep the dust down. And you could prep your concrete that way also. Um, we prefer to do it with the hand grinders ourselves. So either way will work pretty good. Usually if it's got an epoxy coating already, the hand grinders work a little better. But this thing works really good too. So after we do that, we fix all the cracks, fix all the divots with our patch repair material. And then we grind them smooth. And then we clean the concrete and get it ready for the first coating. This is uh, going to be a 100% uh, solids epoxy. So it goes on in different pr procedures, different stages. And you got to get the concrete really clean. So you vacuum it and then we wipe it down also with denatured alcohol to get any dust off it. You can see how easy that works. So the first thing we put down is the primer. And the primer just prepares the concrete for the epoxy coating. This primer also blocks any moisture that might come up through the concrete floor and blister the coating off. So whenever people call me to come to a concrete floor coating, whether it's in their basement, in their garage, it's usually because they applied the epoxy themselves, they got it at a big box store, and now it's peeling off, it's blistering off, whether it's a month later, you know, six months later or a year later, it's peeling off where the tires were. But you, they just don't know how to prep the concrete properly because the people who sold them the stuff don't tell them how to do it. And they don't usually put a primer down either. So this is usually the first thing we always put down as a primer before we do the 100% solids epoxy. And I, I got a course down in the description, guys, that's going to teach you how to do this. If you want to do this yourselves on your own garage or your own basement, that course is what you need. I, it's very thorough. I teach you step by step exactly how to do it and how to do it right. So it's not going to fail. And if you follow the, the, that course, then your epoxy floor is going to come out good. Um, we, we do this a ton. I do this for my business and we do a lot of them during the year. So that course is what you need if you want to learn how to do this on your own. So after you get the primer down, that usually takes, you know, depending on who you're buying it from, that takes three or four hours to dry, and uh, or you could let it sit overnight, then you come back the next day, and you can put your colored epoxy on. Now we're just doing a light gray on this one. Uh, epoxy comes in multiple different colors. It's usually, it's usually a two to one mix, an A and a B, you know, like two parts A to one part B. The directions are usually on the epoxy. Um, and mix it right up. And then what we do is, once you get your kit mixed up, is you dump it down on the floor and you want to get it all dumped out of the bucket. Once you start mixing it together, it starts to heat up and it starts to set up. So if you can get it down on the floor and get it dumped out, you have a lot more time to work with it versus if you just leave it in the bucket. So we're getting the first kit dumped out. We usually put this stuff on. The people we buy it from recommend about 100 square feet a gallon. So they usually sell it to us in a three gallon kit. So we, you know, we break it out into about 300 square feet per kit and we'll measure that out to make sure we get the perfect coverage. And then once we dump it out, you know, I'll squeegee it around just to spread it out. 
it's a little bit easier to spread out with a squeegee than just trying to jump on it with a roller. You usually get it a little bit more even if you have a squeegee first. We'll get it all spread out. Let's see, we've got plenty of time. You know, we've got one guy cutting the edges in, getting those nice and nice and neat. And then one guy doing the spreading. And then we'll... And what you can't see on here is I actually have another guy that's mixing the kits for us. So, I mean, you could you could easily do this with two people. Um, we There's just three of us, so we each have our job that we do. And once I get that spread out there then we're going to dump out another kit and you could go back and stop rolling this out right now um, the way we do it is we usually try to get most of it all spread out first and then we'll go back and back roll it and that's another kit right there so there's another three gallons this was about a 750 square foot garage floor so we got about 600 square feet we're getting dumped out now getting it all spread out and this course, the course I got down there in the description, guys, it'll teach you all how to do this. Um, it goes from the concrete floor prep to fixing the cracks to, you know, the primer coat, the solids, 100% solids a coat like we're doing here. And then what you'll see here in a minute is the top, the top coat we're putting on it to protect the epoxy. So it's basically three coatings you're putting down in. And this is going to last you for years and years and years. This stuff's not going to peel off or bubble off if you do it right and as long as your floor doesn't have a ton of moisture under it this is what you're going to get so you can see i'm going back and i'm starting to back roll now i use an 18 inch roller when i do this and luke spreading out the rest of the the kit to finish off the floor this stuff's pretty you know at 100 square feet a gallon it goes on pretty thick so you just got to get it rolled out as even as you can we usually roll it both ways, so I'm rolling it kind of north and south right now. And then when I get that kit rolled out, I'll, I'll go east to west. And then we'll just, that's it. Then you just let it sit and it kind of self-levels itself right out. Yeah, you can see we're getting it leveled out. Doesn't take that long really to do on a floor this size. And then it's going to self-level its stuff right out. Now there's some tips and tricks that I also teach you guys in, in the course that you're not seeing in this video to, to help ensure that this thing comes out perfect. But you're getting, you're getting a pretty good idea of what it takes to put down a, you know, a, a quality contractor grade epoxy coating here and not one that you buy at a big box store. I mean those just, I'll be honest with you, they just don't last that well and they go on really, really thin and I can't even begin to tell you how many of those we grind off in a year and then come in and do ours over the top of, uh, you know, the, their concrete floor after we grind them off because they just don't last that well. So I'm, we're putting the top coat on now. This is a urethane top coat, a polyurethane. And a lot of companies have a clear one and they also have a pigmented where you can put down the same color top coat as you're putting down the epoxy coat. And that's what we're doing here. We're putting down a light gray urethane top coat. And the urethane is just really hard. It's really scratch resistant. And it just protects the epoxy to give you a really good long lasting floor. So that's, that's the basics, guys, of how to do a, a conc an epoxy concrete floor coating the right way. Like I said, there's a, my course is down in the description. You can go down there and check it out. This is what the floor looks like when you're done. And thanks for watching, guys.